Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christie Reisinger, and today I'd like to share my interview with Mr. and Mrs. B, who received their second dose of the Moderna vaccine. But I'd also like to use them as a cautionary tale and point out that Mr. and Mrs. B were successful in getting their second Moderna vaccine 42 days or six weeks after their initial dose. They were supposed to get the shot four weeks after, but the public health service did not get back to them with a follow-up appointment. As it turned out, they were not in the computer system, but were placed into it when they went back. So I want to pass on several takeaways from their experience that may be relative to any location. In Austin, we had terrible weather that closed vaccination sites for several days, and it created a backlog. I know there are other parts of the country that had bad weather too. If you're coming up on 42 days after your first COVID shot and have not heard from anyone, don't wait around. It may be worthwhile to simply show up on or just after day 42 and show them your paperwork. They will be very motivated to give you the second dose after 42 days because this is the longest amount of time studied between doses of both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. Mr. and Mrs. B were periodically checking in with the public health online system, and eventually Austin Public Health sent an email to Mr. B stating, quote, APH will not turn away those who are due for their second shot after day 42. However, if for some reason you go beyond 42 days, it's likely still fine. You will not have to restart your vaccination series. Just get it as soon as you can. Be sure to bring your CDC vaccine card with you. This will help them validate that you are due for your second dose. Now, join me as I interview Mr. and Mrs. B about their experience with the second dose of the Moderna COVID vaccine. Okay, I'm here with my friends again, Mr. and Mrs. B. Mrs. B, tell me once again how old you are. I'm 77. And Mr. B? 77. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling fine. My arm is sore, but not terribly sore. And only if I touch it in this area, would you like me to? I'd love to, yes. Review mine. Yes. Would you say that it's more sore this time than the first, or is it equal? Equal, and it's not much. Okay, great. Can we take the bandage? Mr. B? Well, I'm, I'm fine. I have no, no ill effects from the first shot or the second. Maybe a slight soreness, but I don't even think about it, so. Any headache? No. Fatigue? No. no. Okay. And no fevers? No. no. Excellent, okay. I'm gonna check in with y'all 24 hours after the second dose, so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, it's the next day, and I'm headed out to go see my friends, Mr. and Mrs. B. All right, I'm back with my friends, Mr. and Mrs. B, and it's been almost exactly 24 hours. And let's start with you, Mrs. B. How are you feeling? I feel fine. Perfectly normal, except my arm is sore, but I can. it doesn't really bother me, and I did sleep on it last night, and I haven't taken any Advil or anything. I'm... I feel great. Do you feel especially fatigued? No. And any rash or weird? No, my arm on your is arm? perfectly normal because okay. I looked at it this morning. Okay, great. Nothing. Sorry. And then how about you, Mr. B? Well, um, now I feel good. I'm slightly dull headed. At four this morning, I woke up with a headache. And I, so I took, I slept on until six, he got up to two Tylenol and that helped some. I have a feeling that it really is partially sinus, may be totally sinus. I've always had sinus problems. And, uh, but now I'm just slightly dull headed. Other than that, I'm fine. My arm looks normal. Uh, so I, I'd say there's no impact really from the, from the vaccination. Would you, say, would you say the side effects this time have been worse, the same, or better than the first dose? I'd say mine were better. Mine's, mine's probably worse, because I don't remember having a headache last time. Excellent. Okay, thanks for joining me. So in closing, I just want to remind everyone that you need to be an advocate for yourself. 
If you've gone 42 days or longer, speak up and reach out to the organization that provided your first vaccine. Don't wait. Thanks again for joining me.